Hey there, this is Matt Goulet from Pizza RV Center. Uh, I'm going to be outside the 2013 Outback 312 here that you're interested in. Just want to do a quick walk around for you. I'm going to show you some of the features um, and, and show you why these Outbacks are extremely popular here and one of the best uh, selling travel trailers, best built travel trailers in the industry. Um, so right up front, you're going to get a full uh, molded fiberglass front cap. Um, what's important about this front cap, number one, it's going to be wrapped around the edge. Um, both on the edge of that cap there, um, around the sidewall, and up top towards the roof, which I'll, I'll get into the roof a little bit here. But that's gonna take that seam right off the corner of the camper. What's good about that, it's gonna make it more aerodynamic when you're going down the road, number one. Number two, it's gonna help prevent water damage. Within that fiberglass front cap here, you're gonna see you're gonna get the LED accented lights, um, which is nice, so you can hook and unhook um, at night with ease. You know, you have some lighting out here to do so. Um, another important part about that, you know, hooking and unhooking. They're gonna make it easy for you. Outback's gonna use the power tongue jack on their campers. Click a button, up and down you go. Um, I mean, anyone can do it. <clears throat> Twin Pro paint tanks with a cover on the front. Spot for two batteries as well. <clears throat> if we keep looking. So fully aluminum framed um, camper here, fiberglass sided, um, pinch rolled laminated from Keystone. Um, Keystone's gonna be the largest RV manufacturer in the country and they do it right and, and that's the reason being. To touch on the construction a little bit more as well, um, so in the Keystone plant, they make all their frames um, specifically for the campers that they're building. Um, also, they're gonna double weld their frames. So when I mean double weld, they're gonna put welds on both sides um, within the frame. A lot of manufacturers aren't, they're just gonna do one side. I mean, number one, more durable, stronger, it's gonna last longer, small things like that. Um, construction as well, we're gonna be one piece rubber roof up top, um, and as you can see, similar to the cap, um, it's going to be wrapped around that edge there, about three inches or so. The rain gutter is going to be right below it to help direct water. Um, and again, it's it's one of those things where it's going to help prevent water damage. This is going to be, I mean, it's this is a product that you want to invest in that's going to last a long time, um, and that's why they do it this way. <clears throat> but let's take a look at the pass-through storage here. Um, that's going to be the grill in there, so I'll swing around the other side as well to get a better look for you. The most important key, key components in here, you know, there's going to be a light in here. So if you're in here at night, you can see what you're doing, number one. Um, number two, battery disconnect located right here. So you, so you can disconnect that battery, just flip of a switch. Um, so, you know, if, if you're out at the beach, if you're out doing something, um, and you leave the light on, it's not going to drain your battery, and you're going you're gonna to have to charge it all day. <clears throat> The other most important part of this, so this can be vinyl flooring in here, finished off. So if you do have to put something in here that's wet, it's not going to harm the camper what, um, one bit. Um, just more durable, better construction, better way to do your pass-through storage. I'll swing around to the, to the back side here quickly for you, just so you can take a better look at it. That does have the grill in there, which I'll get to in a minute when we, when we go down to the outdoor cooking station. Um, but I mean it goes all the way through, ample storage uh, for everything that you're going to want to bring bring along with you. Let's swing back around here. So a couple things up top. Um, so nice big awning, um, extends most of the length of this coach. You're gonna get the marine grade outdoor speakers, the scare light right in between it. So that's gonna give you pl plenty of coverage, you know, um, from the sun on a sunny day. If it's sprinkling out, you can definitely leave that awning out, um, help protect you from that as well. A um, couple other things here on the outside. So um, this is going to be a six gallon hot water heater, gas and electric, 16.2 um, quick recovery. Um, so fastest recovering a hot water heater in the industry um, so, that, so that multiple people can take showers within the hour. <laughs> a few other things, you're going to have outlets out here. So if you want to put a table, um, griddle, you can, outlets here, um, cable hookups here. You're going to get the aluminum wheels, so 15 inch aluminum wheels, um, bigger than the industry standard. The reason being, it's going to give you better uh, better tow when you're going down the road if you do decide to move it. Um, also, it's just, yeah, safer tow as well. Um, aluminum wheels upgraded, they look nicer. Um, they'll never rust like the steel ones will. One feature on this side too um, you want that I want to point out is going to be the black tank flush. So you can hook a hose right in there, clean your black tank out instead of running it through the entire coach down into the toilet. Um, so when you're when you're dumping um, dumping your tanks, either if it's here at Pete's RV or at the campsite, black tank flushes. I mean, it's a convenient feature for you. You're gonna get the second door entrance to the bathroom on this guy, and also the nice big outdoor kitchen. 
So within this outdoor kitchen, we can see some of the quality that they use on the Outback. Um, you're gonna get the raised panel cabinetry in here as well. They're not gonna um, cheat ya. Um, same stuff you're gonna see in your house. Nice residential grab handles. And I'll open this up for you. So a lot of storage in here. Also a light that it didn't turn on up top. A lot of storage in here. Um, you'll have a light up top. It's pretty deep, so you know you can keep the goods. You can keep you know, pots and pans out here if you want to. Um, you also see you're gonna have outlets. Um, again, another TV hookup if you need it. Um, drain sink out here. Um, cook stove on this side. So stainless steel two burner cook stove. You know, cook the bacon, cook the eggs in the morning. Um, great thing. Also a little bit, a little drawer here. It's nice about this, a rollerball bearing drawer glide. So same thing um, that you're gonna use in your house again. Um, and those, I mean, those are gonna be throughout the coach. So they're not gonna cheat. Um, like some other companies will where they'll put it in one spot that you use a lot and they'll cheat you on the other thing so i mean throughout quality products throughout this entire coach <clears throat> also you're going to see so this one here we just got it in so it sells a license plate on it but this one here you're going to get the outdoor grill um hookup which was in the path through storage as well so i can swing right around you know you have your two burner cook stove your out your outdoor grill um I mean your refrigerator here, tons of storage, nice sink, you know, full cooking station out here so you don't have to spend any time inside cooking if you don't want to. Well, let's go on in and we'll show you some of the features here. So three steps, grab handle on the side. You do have a light down below too, so you're not going to kick your shins at night. Well, let's go on in. <clears throat> So I apologize, the lights, my, my battery is dying a little bit on me, so the lights aren't all the way lit up. But um, anyways, do a little 360 for you. Um, we'll start right over in the kitchen. So like I mentioned, it's a raised panel cabinetry. So I mean, this stuff is great. It looks, it looks extremely nice. I mean, these cabinets are deep too. Um, ton of space. With this being a bunkhouse model, it's big on storage and they got plenty of it in here for you. Nice countertop space, you're also going to see it's going to be a two bowl 60-40 sink. So 60-40, wash and rinse, um, three burner stove, um, oven down below here. Nice counter space, microwave above. Um, again, so I do want to point it out again, so rollerball bearing drawer glides, ton of space in here, real wood. Um, I mean, this, this, this thing is built with quality and like I said it's it's probably the best built travel trailer superior to superior to anything out there one piece vinyl flooring all the way throughout on this coach um, the residential furniture I mean nice big u-shaped dinette um, my favorite part about this dinette you know you have cup holders back here so cup holders cup holders in this back corner as well so if you're if you're the guy sitting you know on the inside no worries. I mean, you have a cup holder right there if you need an extra one for you. And my favorite part too about this one here is this table you can move. So if you want to pull that right out, if you want to get rid of it, you know, store it, um, you can do so. Um, just get an extra uh, extra seating space. You're going to have a lot of people over. <clears throat> a few other things. So windows that go all the way around here, all of which will open up. So you won't have to run your ducted AC if you don't want to. I mean, plenty of windows in here to let that cool breeze in. Nice window balance finishes. I do want to point this out because this is going to be big for insulation factors. Um, just finishing off the windows, extending this down here, um, increases um, insulation factors. Whether it's, you know, you're camping on a hot day, you want to keep the cool air in. Or if you're going to be camping on, you know, a cold fall day like today, you want to keep that hot air in. No issues whatsoever. Storage up above and around, um, nice slide out fascias here, um, the two tone, extremely, extremely nice quality look, very, very modern. All right, so a couple other things here. So I didn't show you much in the roof here, but this is going to have the crown roof system. So one of the newest things in the industry, I mean, a lot of stuff is doing, a lot of the high end products are doing it. Um, it looks good, number one, number two. Um, I mean, there's there's going to be benefits for, you know, head height, headroom in here, also um, exterior. So we're, we're in the northeast, water snow runoff is huge. So if you're going to be storing this at the campground, storing it, you know, um, in your backyard, snow runoff, that crown roof system is really going to help you out there. A few other things. So everyone's favorite part um, of the camper here, it's going to be the refrigerator. So you're going to get a separate um, fridge and freezer. Um, Three door caddies, three shelves on this guy. This is going to be a Dometic refrigerator. So gas and electric auto switch over. So let's say, you know, you're, you're at the campsite. You're running this off propane. 
Um, your propane runs out, it's going to switch right over to your battery so your stuff's not going to get warm. <clears throat> so big feature there, again, separate freezer is huge. Also small stuff's in the floor that I didn't point out before we go into the bunk room. Um, vents for, for the heat ducts, outlets down here. Um, smaller stuff that makes it look nice is you're going to have the accented um, lighting throughout um, just so you can, you know, they're kind of like night lights accented lights so you can see kind of where you're going at night if you need to. A couple of things back here, so padded carpet. Um, this is extremely important because you know, that's gonna help this carpet hold up for a longer period of time. When it's padded, it's gonna give you that extra bounce a little bit, um, help the carpet from, from getting matted down. Again, nice residential furniture in here. Flip down bunk above. Um, that bunk up there is gonna hold 300 pounds. Um, so you know, an adult could sleep up there, no issues whatsoever. Nice light in here bunk above up here as well um, which would come with the camper I'm not sure why it's not in here right now but there would be a bunk up there um, also you're gonna see raised panel cabinetry again roller, roller ball bearing drawer glides residential um, poles you're gonna have a spot for a television back here you know spot for a DVD player if you want it nice ladder for the kids too um, so what's nice about that ladder you know that's ease of access to get up into that bunk room um, you'll see some companies that don't give you the ladder I think it's silly but the ladder is there it is nice how back does it right show you some of the storage um, big point in here too nice big window in the back right um, so lets a lot of daylight in here. Um, also windows on this side, um, so you don't have to run those run those lights constantly. So I'll give you one more look around. We'll go into. The, we'll take a quick stop into the bathroom here for you. So one big thing, porcelain foot flush toilet. So that's not going to be plastic. So porcelain foot flush toilet. Keep those smells out. Um, foot flush as well. Um, nice medicine cabinet. Um, it's storage down below, medicine cabinet above here, um, nice shower, you're going to see heat duct in here also, um, I mean that's important so the bathroom's not the coldest place on the earth or the hottest place, um, heat ducts, um, nice roof vent above too, um, click a button that will turn on and you can just see you'll suck the air right out of here, but full shower surround, skylight above, give you that extra headroom if you need it, um, and you know tub style so, so if a kid needs to take a bath you can do so, no issues whatsoever. We'll come up here, so entertainment center on this guy. Um, so this is gonna be um, the central station where you're gonna control your indoor surround sound speakers and your ex your exterior marine grain surround sound speakers. Um, LG TV in here, name brand. Also this TV will flip around and go into the bedroom. So if you wanna watch it at night, you can do so. Just pull the pin here on the right, flip it right around, and there you go, you get TV uh, before you go to bed. A Little bit of storage down below, a little bit of storage here for CDs, DVDs. All right, so the bedroom here on this guy, um, 60 by 80 true queen mattress in here. Um, you're also going to see storage, the sides both, you know, it's a nice spot to hang some, some shirts or pants. Um, also, you're going to get lights, cubby holes above. I mean, just nice finishes as well. Um, so they go to the next level, obviously you see the engraved Outback above. I mean, they just go to the next level with these Outbacks. They, they, they're built extremely, extremely well, like I mentioned. You'll see that in a little bit more detail in the email. Um, also, they're, they're full of features, just full of awesome stuff. Makes it very, very, very residential um, and just a, a great place, you know, to go camping with your family. But again, so this is going to be the Outback 312. I try to go in depth as much as I could for you here. Um, I'll send some more information along to you uh, in the email. Um, let me know if you have any questions, um, if I can do anything for you. Um, you'll see the quote attached as well, and uh, hope, hopefully to hear from you soon, and uh, hopefully we can get something to work for you. Thanks, Patrick. Bye.